Hey guys, well, what's up? Welcome to your 10th PHP tutorial. Uh, today we are going to be uh, beginning uh, creating topics and adding replies. Um, and also we are going to change this around a little where we have news, basic news, um, etc. And you do see I added the fun basic news right here. Um, that was just a test I was doing, but don't worry about that. Uh, to you know, to do one, you just uh, go to uh, code equals create and act equals o2, or act equals create and code equals o2, um, and just create one. That's what I did. So I have two now. Um, but there is one thing um, you can tell. It says basic news info two times. Uh, we're gonna fix that uh, today. And also, we are going to make this, uh, we're going to turn this into a table instead of just using divs. I know I said I wasn't going to, I was going to try not to use tables, but I couldn't resist because I'm even worse with uh, divs. So, with that said, let's get started. Uh, first things first. First thing we're going to want to do is come over to our styles.css uh, file we had created a long time ago or got from the template. And c scroll down to your dot forum content, and add a new line, and do width, and then a colon 100%. Did I say colon? Yeah, I said it right. Um, 100%. So this is gonna make um, this width 100%. Uh, I know it looks like that already, but when we use a table, it won't look like that. So I saved that. Now come over to your class underscore forum, and uh, just change this first div where we have on line 97 to ta to a table and then turn uh, the second div to, to a TR the other divs to table datas um, one div, uh, one ending div one beginning div, one ending div, one beginning div and one ending div should be table data now and then do an ending TR div or en I've been saying div uh, one tr, okay. And now uh, create a new, a new uh, beginning tr, and then change this last end div to a end uh, tr, and then come after that and create a new line, and then end your table. So now you should have something that looks a little like this. Now in this tr, uh, do uh, td, and then this is going to be your first table data. And then just do uh, two more, so you'll have three total. I'm just gonna copy and paste and just delete row name. Um, well, I'll, I'll leave it for now. So now I'm gonna save it. Let's come back and refresh. It'll look uh, about the same. I mean, uh, you'll see there are borders and stuff, but uh, we're actually gonna leave the borders because I like that. Um, but we are gonna add borders right here between um, basic news infos. Um, so let's do that. Oops, I just opened something. Uh, and to add the borders um, in these bottom TRs or bottom TDs where we have row two name, uh, do style equals border one pixel solid black, and just copy that for the other three or the other two. Save that. Come back over here. Refresh, and there you have it. Okay, so now that we have this um, basic look, uh, n uh, next I guess we're going to add a link so you can link and look at subforums. So to do this, uh, to look at subforums, uh, what we are going to do is create a new function and we're going to name this function show. I know we already have show categories. Uh, we might change that later to just show. Um, I haven't really decided yet, but uh, it doesn't matter right now. But so um, first things first, let's create that show function. Uh, we're gonna do that inside our class underscore forum. Um, so come to the very end after your uh, function show categories, and let's do function show. And uh, the params uh, parameters for this is gonna be type and CID. Now type, uh, like we have up here in our uh, create form, um, it's basically what kind, what are we showing. Um, and for now, the type we're going to have is topics. Uh, topics will be creating, uh, not creating, but showing topics. Uh, and the CID is going to uh, decide what subcat to choose from. I just, uh, we're just using the CID just to make it a little simpler. Um, 
but you can use cat, sub cat just if you want to keep yourself remembered uh, what it was. But uh, so the first thing we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to do if the type is topics. We're gonna want to do whatever we have in here. So we're gonna create a res. So we're gonna do res equals MySQL query. Select all from f underscore subcat because that's our uh, name for our table. Uh, where the ID is CID. So it's gonna select everything in our subcat uh, where our ID equals our CID, which is basically our subcat ID. Um, so we're gonna do if res row equals mysql fetch associ res and then we're gonna have an else uh, after the if res else echo this subcat does not exist and you can change the text to whatever you want of course uh, but after the row equals mysql fetch uh we are going to basically just start copying and pasting uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up here to where we have our echo table class forum content and stuff and I'm just gonna copy the entire echo and the res2 in row2 so I'm copying that and I'm bringing it down here to right after row equals mysql fetch res and we are gonna have to break it apart a little bit so where we have the first ending uh, tr table row um, and your echo so put a um, magic quote or double quote and put a uh, semicolon and then start a new echo well yeah start a new echo and then come down here and then after the the last tr end end the echo and then start another new echo well, why we did this is because we're going to be putting the the new middle echo. Uh, we're going to be putting this in a while statement. So uh, we're going to come here and we're going to do. Well, yeah, we're going to move. Uh, we're, we don't need row two because that's going to be in our while. So I'm just going to copy that by hitting Control X, and it deletes it while copying. And we have res two up here. Uh, we're going to modify our res two to select all from F underscore topics where SCID equals CID and uh, yeah we did this uh, already but that was with uh, F subcat so now this is selecting all of our topics that are in this uh, same subcategory and we're gonna end with a semicolon and now we're gonna come to our second echo right before the second echo and we're gonna do while row 2 equals mysql fetch Asoc res2 and then we're gonna get rid of that uh, ending bracket and put the ending bracket at the very end of this of our second echo so now it should look like this for the most part uh, now uh, we don't really need to make many changes um, so let's save this and head over to your forum.php and uh, in your form.php we're going to be creating another else if so come to the last else and add an if and parentheses do act equal equal view form and and CID and then uh, create new uh, brackets and go to where you have two brackets one close one open right next to each other and add an else there and uh, what we just did was we said if uh, the act is view forum and CID so uh, a CID exists uh, then it'll continue so we'll do forum show and then remember our show was topic with an S and then CID will do CID uh, so I'm gonna end with a bracket uh, semicolon I'm gonna save this and go over to your header.php and where we have our other act equals get act code and stuff uh, we are gonna wanna modify that a little uh, I just copied code and I'm gonna make it uh, CID um, we're gonna wanna make we're gonna wanna strip tags and stuff uh, so do instead of just get uh, CID and stuff do strip tags mysql real escape string and then put your 
CID, oops, your CID and all the other stuff in here. So I'm just going to copy and paste for each one. Just like that. I know I'm lazy. I can't even do two ending uh, things. But, okay, save that. Uh, there you go. And let's... Uh, for now, I guess we have it pretty much uh, done, but we do need to make some modifications in our um, PHP my admin or our MySQL database. So go to your topics and go to go to your topics table. Okay, and we are going to add two fields. Uh, we're gonna add this after. We're gonna add these two fields after UID. So click go. Okay, so the first field is going to be title, and then this is gonna be a var car of 64, and the next one's gonna be desk for description. That's also var car at 64. So click save. And then while that saves, uh, I'll come back to your PHP designer and where you have row to name, uh, do row to title and then add a BR uh, right after the thing and then do uh, ending period row to and we'll do description so the description will be right under the title and if you want to make that a little nicer I do so I'm gonna do font color equals gray uh, you're gonna want to do uh, end the thing, <laughs> and then end font. So now it's just gonna give it a little more distinction uh, towards the title and the description. So now I'm gonna save this and uh, let's come over to our forum. Oh, also, I did notice one thing earlier. Um, up here in show categories, where we have res2 MySQL query select all from f subcat. What we want to do where, uh, we want to do where on uh, ID or I'm sorry, CID equals ID, I think. I'm sorry, uh, where CID equals row ID. Oops, ID. Just like that. Okay, now I'm going to save it. So now we won't see basic news info twice. Well, I mean, we'll see it three times instead of six times. You know what I mean? And if it worked, yep, perfect, it worked. So now you just see it on top one. Um, so now let's uh, add a link so uh, so you can click on basic news info So and it'll take you to the forum. So to add the link, uh, we are going to come down here to the first row to name and we're just going to do a href equals uh, question mark view forum, oops, act equals view forum and uh, and CID equals and then row to ID just like that and then we'll end the A after our row to name I'm going to save it and come back and refresh okay now I can highlight it and it turns white that's why I like it uh, and now I'm going to click it and hopefully it'll say nothing so that's pretty much what we kind of expected it to do uh, what we're gonna add now is actually a button uh, so they can you know uh, post uh, create a new topic so we're gonna come uh, before our table class in our show function show if type equals topics uh, we're gonna add form and this is gonna be form uh, the name is going to be a uh, new topic the action is going to be um, question mark act equals create and ID code I'm sorry equals o3 and and CID equals um, CID right there and also we're going to do uh, method equals post okay and now we're gonna come to the very end at the end table and end oops and our form form okay now we're gonna save the uh, 
and we're going to add a button. So at the very end of the table, we're going to add a button. Uh, input type equals submit. Name equals new f um, topic. And v value equals create new topic. Just like that. Okay, now I'm going to save that and let's come back and refresh. Okay, so we see create new topic at the very top, and that's because uh, we have to put the input type around TRs and TDs. So I'm actually going to add TD uh, call span equals uh, 3. So it's going to um, make the columns it takes up, uh, it's going to make it 3 instead of just the 1. And I'm also going to do align, I think it's align equals right, because I want my button on the right slash td slash tr and now I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna refresh it and if it's not on the right it'll be fine I'll live with it okay so yeah it's on the right so now I'm fine and I'll live with it because that's how I wanted it but uh, we're gonna stop here uh, in the next tutorial we will actually create the uh, button or we created the button what am I saying uh, in the next tutorial we'll actually uh, be creating the form and actually being able to uh, look and read at the topic uh, that they want to look at. Um, but guys, thank you for watching this tutorial. Uh, have a nice night, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Don't forget to comment, thumbs up or thumbs down, and subscribe. Um, have a nice day, guys.